You're interested in the advertising promotion internship, correct? Yes, I am. Um, what made you take interest in NBC University? Um, I've always been fascinated with like the film and the TV industry, and I watch NBC. I watch a lot of the programs, so I'm just really interested in like the behind the scenes and like how you advertise the programs and like the differences between like a reality show and a comedy show. And I just really want to know like the whole system. And I just I just take great interest in this company. So. Why are you interested in this country? Um, well, I am interested in advertising, and as I said, I really want to like the behind the scenes look. And I think this is a great way to like introduce myself into the advertising world because this is my first internship, but I really want to get a feel for it, and I think this would be a great opportunity for me to really see how it works. Um, how do you feel you could benefit at these students? Um, I think I could benefit because I am reliable. I know how to meet deadlines, and I can work under pressure. And I think um, I have a lot of ideas to give. And I'm not afraid to give my ideas. Like I don't think I can be overshadowed, overshadowed by other people. Um, I think just my passion for the industry, and I just think, and I'm not afraid to like, analyze situations. Like when I go home and I watch TV, like I always take a look at the commercials. I just won't fast forward through them, and I would like see what I would do differently. And if I'm like flipping through a magazine and I look at an ad, I won't just flip through it. I will see like, did it grab my attention? What could I could I have done differently? Actually, one of your shows, The Celebrity Apprentice, I watch that frequently. And whenever they give a marketing task, I always see what I would do also, and if I agree with the people. So I think I'm very observant. I'm not afraid to analyze the situation. What is your greatest weakness, and how would it affect your internship? Um, my greatest weakness, I guess, would be my public speaking, but I'm really trying to overcome that. Mm -hmm. I'm taking a speech communication class, and one of our projects was a group presentation selling the product. So I think I actually did really well on that. And also, um, if you look at my resume, I have taught um, a hip hop class to uh, an elementary school, so I think that even helped me because even though it's a group of children, it's still a group of people. So I'm really learning to overcome my not exactly fear of public speaking, but I'm definitely overcoming it. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, yes, um, I am inspired to work in an advertising firm, so I want to know how the internship would benefit me. Well, it would provide you with hands-on experience that a lot of companies look for in the hiring. Okay. And also, um, if I were to get the internship after it ends, would I be able to apply for future programs or be eventually a full-time employee here? You would definitely be able to apply for future programs. And then you have the opportunity, if we feel that you can fit our company, that you can work for us full time. Okay. And one more. Um, as I was researching, like I realized all the shows that you air, and I was wondering if, as an internship, would I be able to be on set with those, like, for, like the Jimmy Fallon show or anything like that? Yeah, it's a possibility. It's um, it's an opportunity that all interns have, but they're, we don't give it to like everybody. You have to work for and prove that you can handle oh. what they do. Right. And when should I expect to hear back from you? Well, um, get back to you in about two weeks. Be, you know. Okay. Okay. I think that's all the time we have. Okay. So, thank you very thank much. You. Interviewer, Kat, how was the greeting? I think it was very good. The handshake was friendly. She introduced herself. Okay. Uh, Deanna, what did you think of the greeting? I thought it was very welcoming. She didn't introduce herself, and the handshake was very firm, and I felt like I was invited in. So. Okay. Uh, Kat, what did you think of Deanna's response to your questions? Um, they were very thorough. They she used the questions to like give more about herself and what she would do with the company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kat, mm, not Kat, <laughs> Deanna, what did you think of the <coughs> questions that were being asked of you? I thought like they were very appropriate for this. Like it was trying to get my knowledge of NBC. Like she said, how do you think you can benefit? So I feel like that would kind of show up if I did my homework because I would have to know what the task was about. So I thought she was definitely pulling information out of me. And I was very mm -hmm. Um, I want to commend you both of your body language is that you're into this conversation. One thing that your uh, classmate could do better, Kat. Um, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Deanna? Um, I, I thought she did a really good job. Maybe she like could have comments in between statements, but other than that, like, 
the questions really good, and I can tell she's like really listening. But maybe just like a few little comments. Mm -hmm. I would second that, Kat. Don't be afraid to, again, it's part of a conversation. So yes. show her that you're listening and that you're taking in the information and um, maybe augmenting some of your questions to be reflective of what she just said, to make sure you understand yeah. what okay. she said. Um, Deanna, um, I really like that you took the opportunity to take the question and really show the qualities, where you've done it, what you do and how that makes you prepare for this sort of experience. I'm very good at taking the opportunity to do that. Um, can I see your shoes? Can I see the back? Okay. Kat, can I see your shoes? For a marketing position, those would not be appropriate. Okay. Why? Because typically you want to do a closed toe shoe. I know we haven't oh. talked about that. Women, we have all these options. Um, but for your information, and ladies in here, a closed toe shoe is typically um, more conservative is the, is the type of word we're going for. Okay. Right? When you're coming into an interview, and also when you are interviewing as well. So okay. keep that in mind for the future. Okay. Good job, ladies. Thanks.